cuties welcome back to Marie's acrylic and gel nails um, this morning when I woke up and I was looking on Facebook I saw an article from nail pro magazine that I thought I might share with you all and those of you who are lucky to get it or are like me and have it on their Facebook will have already seen it it's about 10 ways to stop enhancements for lifting. Um, both clients and techs prefer nail enhancements to stay stuck on nails for longer wear without pulling up. If you've had a problem with lifting, um, acrylic ratios or applications, then these 10 tips might help you out. Okay, so tip number 10. Use only high quality name brand professional products don't waste your time with cheap products you'll only have to repair them and my other tip is and I see so many of you doing it don't mix your monomer I have as I've said I have organic nails and stuff here but I bought organic nail monomer if I use my MSI mon monomer I have nothing but lifting issues. If I use the organic nail monomer with it, I have no, you know, these monomers are designed to be used with the acrylic products, not to be mixed and matched. So if you're having problems and you do mix your monomers with your powders, then stop because that will be one of your problems. Incorrect preparation is the main cause for lifting so before you begin have your client wash their hands scrub their nail plates that helps to reduce oils push back their cuticles very lightly make sure there's no cuticles and when we say push back our cuticles let me correct this for everybody um, you're wanting to remove the cuticle off the nail plate the echinicium is the part that you push back. Now you don't really need to push that back. What you need to remove is the skin off the nail plate. Lightly buff the surface. Don't use the file any coarser than 180 grit. Um, remove off all the excess dust um, with a disinfectant or a surgical brush. Clean the nail with a lint-free wipe and a nail prep solution, which most of you have seen me use, which is my Nail Pure Plus. And apply the recommended primer. And the same thing there, guys. If you're mixing a primer for one product and then you're using acrylic powder for another and monomer for another, you're going to have issues. I use everything This is the same. So if I'm using the organic nail stuff, it's the organic nails mon monomer, it's the organic nails powder, and it's the organic nails primer. I don't mix and match. Um, number eight, follow the manufacturer's instructions in keeping like brands together, which we were just discussing as well. Do not stray from the directions or skip Steps. Do not use one liquid monomer with another type of polymer powder. The chemical is one brand, may not mesh well with the others. Number seven is don't let it flood. Leave a thin margin of at least one sixteenth of an inch around the cuticle. However, don't have an edge that you can feel. It may catch on things and it will pull up the enhancement. Number six is avoid product contamination. Store your brushes in a clean, dry, covered container. That's why I keep these tubes. I don't keep the little plastic tops because it hurts the bristles, so I try and get my hands on these tubes. Um, or I buy these, as I've said, and I will cut the top off them. They're like 50 cents, or NSI gives them away for free when you spend over $150. They have free gifts that you can buy. Don't use just soaps, detergents, or oils to clean or condition them. 
clean your dappin dish between your clients and never leave them overnight. Never pour monomer liquid back into the container. So if you've used your monomer, do not pour it back into that container. And if you do what I do and you've been practicing and you've got excessive monomer, I actually have a dirty monomer liquid thing that I only use. I don't use this on clients or anything like that. This is my monomer that I use on my clients. This is new. Nothing ever gets poured into this. This is what I have just to practice. And, you know, I'll even put stuff in there from my clients. Um, number five, building enhancements to appropriate lengths. Do not create nails that are way too long. The longest enhancement you should try should be half of the length of the natural nail bed. If your client asks for something longer, then let her know it won't hold up to normal wear and tear. My nail was, natural nail was this long. I don't know how well you can see that. It was this long and that's how long the nail is. So my nail was actually more than the length that they these are. Um, number four, use the correct mix ratio for, kick, for acrylic. Balance is the key. Here's how to test. Place a bead of product directly on the apex of a clean, unfiled nail tip. Do not pat, do not push, just observe it for 10 seconds. If it is too wet, it will settle and flow outwards immediately or drop by half with the, within those 10 seconds, losing most of its original shape. If it's too dry, the height and shape will be completely unchanged after 10 seconds. Be difficult and it will be difficult to keep in place and it'll look crusty. The perfect consistency should look like frosted glass. Now, while we're on ratio, we all have issues and I do like Tammy Taylor and I have cheated a little bit. Tammy Taylor says that we should be practicing our balls and our consistencies with them. Every nail technician, um, even home users, at least 50 times a day. So I went online and I printed out, that's the front part of her practice sheet, that's the back part of her practice sheet, and I laminated it. So the acrylic comes off and I can practice every day. And I do practice, especially before I have clients, because it helps with the hand-eye coordination and getting into that rhythm of what you need to be doing as far as dipping, wiping, dragging, placing, wiping, padding, wiping, and that. It gets the whole rhythm all sorted out for you. Um, number three, stop nipping off old nail products. It can cause more lifting and create a ledge that's hard to incorporate into a new nail. Instead, use 180 or a 240 grit file to remove the shine from old product and lower its thickness by a third. Any lifted places should be filed away and blended into the natural nail. And you can also use products, and a size not the only one, like the line out to help reduce in those types of circumstances. Especially if you know you're doing fills and that, and you've got lifting, you can put an, the, the line out on it, and it will help you with your filing. Number two, hold a medical consult. Always ask my clients this. Some medications and treatments affect nails and hair causing lifting. If your client is one of these, try your best with different products, e.g. gel, wraps, acrylic. See what works best. If nothing seems to help, recommend a more natural nail. 
and there are so many options that you can do to help that client you don't have to be so narrow-minded you just have to widen your skills and your product knowledge and number one is educate your client keep your clients knowledgeable of proper home care and maintenance I actually have for my clients and I think I've shown you once before I have printed out for them um, instructions for caring for acrylic nails at home telling them not to use their nails as tips to try and keep their nails dry so wearing gloves and stuff like that and, and not to use their nails as tools sorry um, make sure you use antibacterial soaps when washing your hands um, wearing gloves not only while you're in water but doing your housework um, swabbing your, your nails with alcohol each day before bedtime before you go to bed at night swab under and around your nails with alcohol it will help cleanse your nails of any dirt or bacteria if your nails look a little cloudy afterwards you can finish them off again with a clear white polish in the morning and that just helps against bacteria and funguses and the minute you have an issue if you've accidentally chipped a part of it, if it's breaking, rot over, don't leave it for two weeks, come back to your nail salon straight away. Um, I have the same for my gel polishes. Well, it's not the same, but I have the same printed out sheet. And I have one for gel care as well. Um, and it's here and it's all highlighted, it's easy to read, it's easy to understand, you know, um, to help them prolong the life and get the longest they possibly can between feels out of their nails. So I hope this quick little video was, inf was um, helpful to all you girls and you all found something to take away from it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.